Reloaded. loaded. A finale chaotic. Appropriate. So I need to... Ah! Okay. All right. Bitch, bitch, bitch. God damn it. Okay. All right. I'm going for you first. All right. Ah! ah. Thank you. All right, here we go. Here we go. Final boss emerges.
Oh! That is really annoying. Oh. Oh shit, Phoenix down. Why? Final boss has a few stages, man. Yeah, you badass. I get it. I get it. Mega Vice. Not good. Not good.
Damn it. Oh. Oh. Yep. Come on. Go. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Oh. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa! Come on. Okay, whoa. Ah! Did I get him? I think I got him. Did I get him? Snap. Oh shit, did I do it? Ah, oh, sweet. I hope I did it. A, B, fuck. I did it. Yes! Yeah! Uh-oh. Is he taking off? Oh, he take- oh shit. So he's got all the life on the planet inside him now. He's about to take off. Stop him! Omega's ascending. But that would mean... So Vincent single-handedly took down a fucking weapon. And all the life rains back down Vincent. to the planet.
awesome. Namura, directed Final Fantasy XV. Oh, don't worry, there's Gak. My first compilation of Final Fantasy VII game I got through. That was fucking so badass. That game has aged insanely well. Like, insanely well. I, I'm, I'm blown away. It's like, again, I'm playing a Vita game from the last few years as opposed to a PlayStation 2 game that's, what, 13 years old. That was so badass. Oh. Reden uh, I think this song is longing. The song that was playing on the final level, the song that was playing on the final level was, uh, Deep Worm, Miguel's Bonus. Mae Whitman. Wait a second, Mae Whitman. Why does that name sound familiar? Mae Whitman. Holy shit! Okay, so Mae Whitman, I knew that name stuff. Mae Whitman was the little girl from Independence Day, the 94 movie. She was also uh, in uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. She plays Yuffie in this. So badass. I didn't know that. I didn't know Mae Whitman played Yuffie. And she was also Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. She was the evil ex, the ninja. She played a ninja in Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. The girl. Where, where, like, Scott touches her on the back of the leg, and she's like, you'll never be able to do this to her! And she blows up into coins and shit. That's awesome. Good for her, man. Now, this was 2006, so she was still, what? Now she's 30, so she was 17 back then, playing this character. Good for her. That's badass. She plays her, oh my god, she plays her in Kingdom Hearts too. Now we can enjoy peace. No more war. Let's enjoy an age of peace. returned to the planet and has begun to flow normally once again and I have started to fill the 10-year hole in my life or at least started to try I've learned so much in the past weeks now that I realize I'm not alone I think I may be a little stronger than I was before hasn't found anything. Oh. Ain't gonna make this easy for us, is he? 
They know he's still alive, too. Of course he's still alive. He's the hero. The last words we exchanged? Do you remember our promise? Your promise to Lucrezia. Go. Tell her how you feel. Tell her what is truly in your heart. I know that you probably will never see this. But I have to try. I have to believe. I've learned I must never give up hope. Never. Lucrezia. Everything's all right now. Omega and Chaos have returned to the planet. Thank you. It was you. You were the reason I survived. Yeah, I was muted. The chaos gene is out of him now. Look at him, pretty man. Look at this shit. And Shelk! She's in normal clothes. Which Does Vincent have normal clothes? Do he ever puts on sweats and a muscle shirt and hang out? Or is he always wearing the pointy boots and the claw? Pretty sure that's Everyone's he sleeps waiting, in those clothes. Vincent Valentine. <sighs> I don't know why they made me come up here and get you. <laughs> Not that I mind, though. Aww. Looks good on you, Vincent. Good job. Now, beautiful ending, right? End. Okay, so there's a secret ending you can get where Genesis shows up and he get Vice's body and he's like, now we could start. Horrible ending. Horrible secret ending. That didn't need to be added. Yeah, did not need to be added to that. That, that was perfect. Credits. Cut. But yeah, they added an ending where Genesis shows up, gets Vice's body. You're like, wait, what, what the fuck? What? Oh, my pro. How'd I do? And that is the end game over screen for a game. That's when you see that, or Finn, it's over. Game's over now, officially. Sometimes they'll put an extra scene. But anyways, Genesis shows up, gets Vice's body and shit. Fucking, and you're like, dude, no, unnecessary. Unnecessary. You didn't need to do that. You didn't need to show up, man. Like, you were badass. You had your time in Crisis Core, man. That's cool. You just need to do that. Now we added something because that's the ending of the compilation. So why would you throw a scene on there that is totally fucking unnecessary? Like, it's, it's unnecessary. You didn't need to do that because that was perfect the way it is. It's like a perfect steak. It perfectly cooked, perfectly seasoned. Don't put ketchup on the motherfucker, man. It's, it, you don't need to. Like, you can, but why? It's perfectly fucking cooked. Um... But yeah, that was it, man. That that was Dirge of Cerberus. That was awesome. That game is like that game is like Michelle Pfeiffer and Sean Connery had a baby and it's aging. It aged so fucking perfectly. But um I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna be back on in a little or streaming. But thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing that first Final Fantasy VII compilation with me. I came a little. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take a break and I'll be back on it. Thank you so much, uh, for, for, uh, joining. Um, I will see you on the next one. Have a good morning, afternoon, night, but I'll be back in a little.